Hey guys, it's Tracy. I participated in another one of Tamika's, who is known as Scrap the World, here on YouTube Swap. And the swap is called Embellishment Swap. And there were two categories, bottle caps and clothes pins. And the, requirement, the requirements for the bottle caps were that you were going to have three people in your group. One of the bottle caps had to be a charm. So something had to dangle from it. And for the charm, because it was a charm, you needed to decorate the back. So that's the requirements for the bottle caps. And I participated in that swap, as well as participated in the clothes alter clothespin swap. So for that requirement, you only could use Prima Recollections Graphic 45 my mind's eye or washi tape and they were the regular size clothes pins and you had to make four sets of threes so let me show you guys the products that I used so my clothes pin two of them are papers and one is washi tape and I'll show you the washi tape that I used it's recollections I use this one as well as this one here. And I use this one right here. And let me show you those clothes pins. And this was just, let me take this out of the packaging. Now this was just some embellishments that I had in my stash. Which actually went perfect with this because it had that turquoise color. Or aqua, I guess you want to call it. Then I just put a little bling on the top of the where the charm hole would be. Just some bling from my collection, and then as a gift for me, just a thank you gift from me, I alter these tiny clothes pins. And these clothes, the big clothes pins, and that goes for all of them, have been painted or stained, and these were painted. You probably can't really tell. It's kind of shimmery. I took the clothespin apart, pins apart, and painted them. And I used this folk art metallic pearl white. And I used that, did that for two of the sets. And then this little, I guess you want to call it hanger, that the clothespins are on. Again, um, the inspiration for for this came from Michaels. I saw that Michaels had those alter clues pins, so I paid attention to how they had it packaged. So I said, hmm, that looks easy enough. I can do that. So my original intention, let me put this down, guys. My original to use a dye that I had picked up last month from Paper Tray Ink, which is called the Boutique Accessories Card Dye, which I'll show you part of it. That's how wide that is. See, this is how wide, if I compare it, that's how wide that is. I needed more spacing, so that wasn't going to work. Also, that die, which let me show you. That die is square. It looks like this, and it has this little cutout in it. So I knew I didn't want to keep it whole. So I did some measuring and I measured, cut that out because that's the shape I was looking for. But again, because it wasn't, it was long enough, but it wasn't wide enough. I had to go to some all other alternative. So I went to my silhouette store and I'll, that had that little cutout in it because I really like that. And that's what I came up with. That's what I was going to use. But again, it didn't have the cutout that L shape backwards L shape 
So what I did was alter that file. I just ungrouped it just so I could use this piece here. Then I end up creating my own file, which gave me this shape. And I just added that little piece in it. And then what comes with this paper tray ink set, you can buy a stamp set. So you can decorate the top of so you can decorate the top of the card, which is the top of this. It came with this stamp set. Like, I mean it not came with it, but you could purchase it separately. And that is called Boutique Accessories Mini Stamps. And that's item number 2629. And the other item number for the accessories die card die set is P as in Paul, T as in Tracy, D as in dog, 0365. So that is how I created my little card there. So again, that is my first one. And let me show you my second one. And my second one I use this paper collection by my mind's eye, which is called Honey Cake. Honey Cake. And these were the papers I used. This one and this one and that one. And let me show you those. And again, this um, these paper clips were painted with that folk art paint that I showed you. And so again, here are some mini uh, mini clips that I included. Oh, and I forgot to mention one. I, all of them I made a solid, and then a print, and I just stamped some paper on plain cardstock to create those. And again, I did not take apart or paint these clips, I mean clips, clothespins. And I did seal all the clothespins with glue and seal. Yeah, glue and seal. And I had a couple of them may have been Mod Podge too. So again, this is just something I had in my stash. And then too, all the clothespins, it has one like metal embellishment on it. One was plain and then one of each set has some bling on it. So that's that set. Let me take it out. I just try to get it to bling up. It might get a better look. So that's that set. And this set here I use my mind's eye. Vanity Fair. I use that paper. So not that side, that one, and this one. I'll take this out. And here are those clues pins. Again, this is out of my stash, and I just added some bling there. As well as there. And for these paper clips, and I'll take one off, I stained these. See, they're lightly, hopefully, you can pick that up. They're lightly stained. Took them apart and did that. And how I did that was with this Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I just shook it up and just put my paintbrush down inside a bottle. And the other set that I'm going to show you had been stained with that as well. So again, that's those. I really enjoyed doing these clothespins. It was a lot of fun. So that is that set. In my last set, I used the Madeline Prima Stack. 
And here are the papers. I used that one. This one. And this one. Here are those. Guys, sorry for that shadow. So, these clothes pins were stained with that glimmer mist. I guess it's a seal on it. I don't think the camera's moving on it. This was out of my stash as well. Just some pearls here. So that is, so there are my altered clothes pins. If anybody's interested and would like to make this little clothes pin holder, you can easily do that by cutting a three and a three and three fourth inch wide by four and a half inch wide square. Okay. And then what you would want to do, well, it's not technically a square because a square is the same size on all four corners, but you know what I mean. And the spacing in between here and here are both are, are both one and a half inches. So that's fairly easy to do. And I could have easily done that, just used a square and cut it out. But since I was able to manipulate that silhouette file to get this piece, and then I was easily able to create these, these sections and weld them together. It was really easy. I was surprised how fast I got it done. I think that is it, guys. Just wanted to share with you guys the projects I've been involved in. I mean, the swaps I've been involved in. I got these done, I think it was last week sometime. Caps, which I will be posting probably in a day or so because I need to they're done, but I just need to find out how I'm going to present them. So I'm working on that. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. And let me know what you think about my altered clothes pins. See you soon. Bye.